wanted to talk for a few minutes about exporting movie files from Flash. I encountered some difficulties with a recent project I was working on and I just wanted to share with you my workaround. And hopefully when you go to render down one of your own movies to put it on YouTube or what have you, um, this will save you a lot of time. Now what I noticed with my recent animation was I would go to export it. It was something like three minutes long and every time I would play the resulting file it wouldn't be three minutes long. It would be like three minutes, 45 seconds long, or four minutes long. And I tried changing everything from the frame rate to the compression to the codec being used, all to no avail. And uh, after doing a little bit of research, I figured out what was going on. So we're going to talk about that and hopefully show you how you can export your video a little bit more precisely, you know, especially if you want to sync it up with voice or music or something like that. Now, uh, let's take a quick look at this movie I've set up here. It's uh, kind of a silly movie. We have some cars that are flying in front of a set of moving spirals. And we have a lot of motion tweens. And we have color changes. And uh, this is all for a purpose. The video here, the animation I should say, is 1620 frames long. So at 30 frames per second, if you divide that out, it should be 54 seconds exactly. So let me show you real quick how to export a movie from Flash. Okay, so you go to File, Export, Export Movie. And you would select QuickTime. Go to Save. Whoop, okay, pull up your dialog here. Go into QuickTime Settings if you want to tailor this. You get to choose your codec, your frame rate, and so forth. Do OK. Do Export. Uh, of course, I'm not going to do that. I went ahead and pre-exported to save us some time. And you're going to have yourself a little animation, a .mov file. Now that file is right here. I call it slow.mov for a reason. It's supposed to be 54 seconds, right? Well, it ends up being, and let's fast forward to the end, a minute and 15 seconds long. Now this is just infuriating to you if you're trying to uh, really get a precise time slot filled or something like that. So you're probably wondering why is it doing this? Because it looks good. If you play it from beginning to end, it looks really good and clean. Uh, there's a reason this happens. The deal is this. When you go to export a movie file from Flash, it exports the Flash file, it plays it in the Flash player, and then it records real-time while it's playing. So if your animation has a ton of tweens, motion tweens, maybe it has music, a lot of different effects, your computer is going to slow down at those particular points so it can get through all that processing. And then if you have maybe just one item on the screen, it'll speed up to the normal rate. It won't lag. You know, plus if you have other programs running at the same time, you're going to end up with a video that is stretched out too long. Um, and that's really frustrating. But there are ways to remedy this. Um, what I would recommend you do as one workaround, <clears throat> excuse me, is go to File, go to Export, go to Export Movie once again, and then you're going to go to, not QuickTime, but JPEG Sequence. Then you can do Save, and you're going to have the option of choosing your heights and widths, your resolution, and the quality of each individual picture. And once again, I've gone ahead and pre-exported all these images. And uh, as a matter of fact, we have tutorial 1 all the way through 1620. We have exported exactly 1620 frames. So let's go ahead and put this in the background. After you do that, what you should do is pull up your handy-dandy frame-by-frame program. You can download this for free. It's an awesome little utility. I don't remember the name of the website right offhand, but it's called Frame by Frame. Um, and you're going to go ahead and choose the film strip option. Go ahead and bump this up to 30 frames per second. And you're going to get your images. Let me go ahead and just select a few of them. I'll grab 15 of them. Drag them right into this area. and it's going to line them all up for you. Go to File, Export, 
go ahead and uh, you can call it movie export is going to pull up a dialog box you're going to get to choose your codec once again so go ahead and choose h.264 that's a good quality go ahead and do high quality and OK and this should process pretty quickly actually because it's such a uh, short movie in fact it's done already we'll just go ahead and minimize that here's our movie it's made our movie file now actually I'm going to go ahead and delete this and I'm going to show you what happens with this previous movie we had the slow version if you remember what happens if you compile all of these images all 1620 of them in frame by frame here we have normal.mov and you will see that if you go to the end it's exactly 54 seconds long that's outstanding and uh, very very handy if you're trying to get a bunch of things coordinated in time um, so that's really it in a nutshell it's kind of a handy tool but there are a couple of things you might want to note one is that if you have nested movie clips um, or you have different filters going on with different elements so if you add a bunch of say drop shadows or embossing or beveling or whatever you can do in flash to maybe one of these cars if you export as an image sequence uh, that will not come through apparently that only works in the flash player unfortunately so you are limited you're going to want to plan accordingly with your animating in terms of what you can have in there and what you expect to come through if you compile it um, with frame by frame now if you have Adobe After Effects uh, which I do not I'm pretty sure there's another workaround which is to export your flash animation at one frame per second um, so that uh, gives each frame a huge amount of processing time for your computer it's going to be a long file you're going to take that and dump it into Adobe After Effects adjust the frame rate and it should be a lot more precise but uh, I can't afford that right now hope to get my hands on it eventually because it's an astounding program from what I've heard um, and that's it I hope this helps you a lot and uh, hope you have a lot of fun with your animation and uh, take care mm -hmm.